on a place called Nile Grocery and Ethiopian Restaurant in Charlotte, North Carolina. This is gonna be a very, very, very interesting review. So not only is this an Ethiopian restaurant, it's also a grocery store. This is a very nice family owned spot. They were nice enough to allow me to eat this in the car with the plate with the plate and all. She just wanted to make sure I was gonna bring the plate bike. And I told her, yes ma'am, I will. As a matter of fact, I had to come back to show my appreciation. So I came in here the other day and you guys allowed me to eat my food outside. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just wanna give you guys a, a nice what? tip, man. It's, it's just $2,000, so just use it to, whatever you need to use it for, but. What's your company or something? No, nah, I work for myself. You post uh, something? Yeah. Oh, what, Mr. Uh... Chom Chom. Oh. No, no problem, tell your wife I said hello too. Yes. Hey, how you doing? Hi. How you doing? I remember him. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. It's thank it's just two thousand dollars. You guys use it to where you want to use it to. Oh, thank you. And so um, much. I thank you guys for everything. Thank you. Thank you. And lastly, my car is smelling like straight glory right now. God. Damn. I got a bunch of Ethiopian food that's served on a big platter of injera. Let's see what it's hitting on. They gave me a lot of injera as a vehicle to pick up my food. Drop your skirt. Mm. Mm. Let's try this right here first. Nope. So those are beets. If you like beets, more power to you. Me personally, I hate them. Beets is a very earthy vegetable bread that I just cannot get past. The texture really ain't bad. It's just the aftertaste that just really just sends me over the top. This does have a, a, a tangy flavor to it. Maybe this is pickle. That's making this a little bit more, ooh, that's making this a little bit more manageable to eat. But, I, but I'm still not feeling this. So let's try the greens. The greens are good. By the way, let me explain this right here that I'm using right this is Ethiopian bread. It's spongy, it's tangy, and it's very thin. Eating this by itself, you might not like it. But when you eat it with the food, it's amazing. Back to the greens. So if you're a person that likes heavily seasoned greens, like soul food greens, this might not be for you. These are crunchy and also lightly seasoned. I know a lot of y'all, like myself, like greens that are a little bit sour. That's what the injera is for. The injera is sour, so when you use that with the greens, you'll get that sour punch, you feel me? But if you look for this to be over the top seasoned, like you're used to having it, it's a little different. But I can get, I can get jiggy with it. Let's try the cabbage. That's good. That's real good. So this is cabbage with potatoes and carrots. Potatoes, smooth when you bite into it, no resistance. Also the cabbage, the cabbage is okay. Obviously it's not what I'm used to, but I can still get a jiggy with that. Don't get this thing that's gonna be seasoned like soul food because it's not. Come on lentils. Mm, 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 mm. I cooked lentils at the crib one time. And ever since then I've been, I've been hooked and they are versatile as you can eat these with basically anything. The texture of these is almost like, almost like potatoes with, with beans, and the beans are tender to the touch. These are actually earthy too. I'm telling you, you have lentils one time, you're gonna love that. These are yellow split peas. So this is made with onion, garlic, jalapeno, and ginger. So just think of the lentils, the same texture, but with like a, a, a oniony taste. You can definitely taste the onion in the split peas, no doubt. Got more split peas over here. Oh, woo, those, <sighs> those are spicy. Same texture as the yellow split peas, but extremely spicy. So this was made with tomato, onion, garlic, and actually I think it's called Barbaray. This is gonna wake you up. It's gonna definitely put some hair on your nipples for sure. We got Tibbs, it's basically beef, sliced tomato, garlic, rosemary, and it looks like we got peppers in here too. This right here was making the car smell righteous earlier, so I know this gonna hit. Oh yeah. The beef is already amazing. And it seemed like it was simmered in a big bowl of, of, of unique spices too. If you like flavored beef stew with a lot of meat and unique flavors, you need to get this. I'm gonna put the address right here. If you're ever in the Charlotte, North Carolina area, check this place out.